today I want to work on potting up some summer flowering bulbs. I have quite a selection here, I'll show you in a minute. So this is everything summer except for dahlias. This video I'm not going to take care of dahlias because I typically wait more towards the end of the month to do that simply because all my pots are already taken with tulips, my border is full of spring bulbs so I have to wait a little bit longer. Let's get started! One of the other stars of the show are lilies. They are absolutely gorgeous flowers. They don't flower for very long, but they are really a great addition for summer gardens. So I picked up a couple of varieties. This gorgeous pink and white one called Levi, really striking. Apricot fudge. It looks like a double lily. I've never seen this before. And I saw the color plus the unusual flower shape was a really great combination. So I'm really excited to try those. And also this one called Night Rider. That darker color stopped me in my tracks and I had to give it a go. So I think I'm going to start by planting those two varieties together in a pot. Well, as always, when planting, I'm starting by oops, oh, putting compost everywhere. As always, you start by adding compost. And I'm going to completely fudge the spacing requirements here. It says plant eight centimeter deep. The flower, oh gosh, those bulbs will actually grow 120 centimeters tall. Wow. Okay, that is definitely not going to be, to be tall enough. The bulbs will be really tall and the proportions will be off. Change your plants. Those are actually going to go at the allotment. We've started preparing the space by covering the soil with a really thick tarp to de-weed. And I'm hoping that I can plant there a lot of the dahlias that I grew last year in the garden. If you've missed that, I'll pop a link to my dahlia hole video. I have a lot of new varieties that I'm going to plant in the garden, but I also had a lot of gorgeous blooms from last year. So I'm sharing all about those, but there won't be enough space in my garden. So this is why we're devoting a little bit more space for flowers this year. And I'm hoping these are deer resistant. Okay, I've made up my mind to start the lily bulbs in pots. And we'll transfer them to the allotment. This is what lily bulbs look like. I feel like they look like a little bit of a lotus flower. So roots and then the bulb. So I'm just placing them very close together. as it's not a permanent planting. Of course, if you're adding those in your garden, you may want to follow the spacing guidelines. This pot is going to be tall enough for begonia, so I'm going to mix my two varieties. I think the shades go really well together and we have a more cascading effect. I'm adding a bit more soil because begonias have to be planted very shallow. Otherwise they won't, a bit like peonies, otherwise they won't flower properly. The depth is typically two centimeters. That's really, 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 really shallow. Some of the root system, so that goes towards the soil. Otherwise you can see they have this kind of curved shape. Maybe if you can see well. They have this kind of curved shape and that's the, the part where the new flowers will come from. I'm fudging a bit the spacing because I really like to have a dense show. One tip when you plant is to tilt them. So don't put them flat because if water gets here, when you water, when it rains, it will pull here and can cause rot. So what I'm doing here is just tipping it so that water can run out and avoid rot. So I'm just going to repeat the process. I'm just gathering a little bit more earth from the center of the pot. I only added about two centimeters. So very, very shallow planting for those. And then of course, a label. I'm also going to use a tray like this that I'm going to keep in my cold frame to uh, get them to sprout essentially, and then transplant them in their final containers. They're probably going to go in my little shelf where currently I have a display of smaller spring bulbs and those are typically perfect for smaller pots. You could use individual pots also for this. You don't have to use a tray. I've done that in a previous year. 
it works really well on a kitchen windowsill as well. You can put them in smaller pots and they will start germinating in no time. So we'll just pop a little bit of water to moisten the compost. You could do that beforehand. It probably would have been a better idea. I also picked up more alliums. Here earlier, I planted two liter containers with allium, oh, what's it called? Graceful Beauty, I think. And I also planted Mount Everest in a front lawn. So more white alliums, but I just think that this little cluster of white flowers are really nice. The bowls are really small also, so for smaller pots on a table or on a shelf, I always think that those are a must. And now the alliums. The spacing is five centimeters and they go 10 centimeters deep. If you're in doubt what goes where, sometimes the bulb, is a, the bulb has already started growing. So you can see here a little bit of a shoot, the pointy side, and on the other side, little area where there's already some roots forming. If you're not too sure which side, which way is up, the advice is the same as the seeds, just lay it on its side. Oh no. I'm trying ranunculus again this year with two varieties, candy pink and snow white. I tried last year, but unfortunately my comb froze, so I'll try to be more diligent about protecting them this year. Ranunculus corm look like mini octopuses, truly, and I'm leaving them to soak for three to four hours before the pre-sprouting process. It's something new I'm trying this year. Last year I tried to plant directly and that didn't go well, so I'm trying this out. I hope it works. I have filled the tray with pre-moistened compost about halfway there, and then I'm placing my little corms tentacles down. <laughs> no, that's not a technical term. Pointy side down. This is a new one. The tentacles go towards the soil, and then I'll cover up again with compost. I'm going to leave this in a place where the temperature are between 4 and 10 degrees, avoiding frost. And in about two weeks time, we should see some rootlets happen and then it would be time to plant them in the ground. And then I'm going to try to grow bulbs that I've never tried before. They're called Tritelia laxa and the variety is Queen Fabiola. I saw the flowers were really sweet. I have never grown these specific bulbs before, but I thought the bulb size was again pretty small, so good for a smaller pot. They look a bit like campanulas crossed with bluebells. I think mean, they're really sweet, so we'll see how it goes and we'll experiment with some new things. I have this recycled lampshade that I spray painted with terracotta paint. Here I had done a mini vegetable planter. That is really cute and sweet. It looks a bit rough now. It probably needs another coat so we can take care of that later on. And it was actually white and the inside is yellow. So I'm thinking maybe with the purple, that could be nice. And I still have one little strawberry plant. I'm just going to gently relocate my little flower here. Again, totally fudging the spacing right now. I am really not sure what to expect with those. And we'll see. Maybe we discovered a really favorite bulb. I'm not really sure that those bulbs are going to flower. And also, I'm not sure I want to wait until July. So that's four months from now and not have anything come out of this. So I'm thinking I'm going to add some spinach and some lettuce like with bronzy tones so that I have leafy greens that will appear pretty quickly, I think, within 10 days. And then also add just a few Californian poppies. These are going to bloom in the summer. So we may have even the blooms come together. Those peachy tones with the blues, I think that's going to be really sweet. So I'm just going to do a couple of plants of spinach. Oh.
thanks for watching this video. I'll report back to see how everything is growing and hopefully we'll have good success. Let me know what else you're doing to prepare the garden for summer. I know March feels very early to do that. We haven't even had the tulip and daffodil show, but as always in gardening, we have to get a head start. See you next time. Bye. Okay, now I have to tidy everything, as always. <laughs> oh, putting compost everywhere.